We are back in the booth. I'm Sean Booth. And thank you guys for tuning in wherever you're tuning in from. Maybe you are listening in Springfield, Massachusetts. Maybe you are in Las Vegas, Nevada. Or maybe you're in uh, Clarksville, Tennessee. Wherever you are, thank you for tuning in. If you want to watch us on YouTube, head to the YouTube link. And hopefully you guys are having a great week. It's been a, a week or so since we've last spoken to you. But we are here. We are going to catch up on all the good things that we got going on right now. And to my left, she is here. She is well rested. She got black pants, cheetah print shoes, sweatshirt, curly hair, and she is owl cat today, folks. That makes absolutely no sense to anyone who wasn't listening to our pre film experience yeah film in your owl cat because well we were talking about how you are psychotic and go to bed at 8 53 p.m which i know a lot of people go to bed early but i was just saying that i was my whole household my whole life we've always been night owls like we go to bed late and wake up late yeah and that you just absolutely took that little piece of information and ran with it for an extended period of time calling me a night owl which then obviously transitioned into owl cat you're such a night owl like when you go to the dictionary for night owl it's like your face is in there i couldn't agree more yeah i want to be a morning person i do really love mornings it's just it's hard for me yeah they're hard we're just talking about because i have been up now since well i took out my whoop hashtag not sponsored and I was up at 153 in the morning today. I've been up since 153. Not by design, I was saying. It was one of those things where you wake up from a deep sleep. I don't know if this happens to you. And then all of a sudden, your brain just starts racing. You're laying in bed, just like thinking of everything. And you can't go back to sleep. And I had to get up at 4. I had an alarm for 416, 418. So I was just laying in bed for a few hours. But I went to bed at 853 p.m. <laughs> So I don't know. I truly cannot tell you the last time I went to bed at 8.53 p.m. Yeah. I was a toddler. I mean, I could have gone to bed earlier, too. I mean, I was exhausted yesterday. Well, when you wake up at 2 o'clock in the morning, you're obviously going to be tired by 8. Yeah, that's so four hours and 40 minutes of sleep right there. Two hours and 10 minutes of restorative sleep. Two and a half hours of light sleep, REM, 29%. I don't know why I'm reading you my sleep statistics, See, I feel but like, here we are. No, this is interesting stuff, but I I feel like I have the type of brain that like I could not get a whoop or any of those things because I would become so obsessed right. and so addicted to like, I got to chill. I have a, yeah. I mean, you know, we've talked about this a million times. You're the same. I'm an all or nothing type of gal. Right. So if I get too far into that, yeah. It's going to be bad news. It's going to be the opposite of what's intended is to help you. It would yeah. hurt me. Yeah, well, because you can wake up and you feel good. And then you look at your whoop and it's like, just kidding. No, you don't. Yeah. You're not recovered today. And so when I woke up this morning at two o'clock, it was like, health alert. Your respiratory rate is very elevated today. And I was like, oh, my God, am I having a heart attack? Am I dying? So what I'm Googling hell? why my respiratory rate was so high. And there's, you know, Probably the most likely was a recent challenging workout. So I worked out hard yesterday, all day Saturday, Friday, just like really hard because we're training for high rocks competition in okay. two weeks. And so where's that one? Washington, DC. The Capital. Yeah. Wait, are you doing a team thing like yeah. the girls? Who's I your partner? Jordan Peters. Shut up. Yeah. Is he really? Yeah. Oh, I miss Jordy P. Yeah. So Jordan Peters, he opened BC up with me. Uh, he's the best dude ever. And he is a freak athlete, just an endurance athlete. He qualifies for half Ironman world championships like every year. So yeah. I was like, we got to do this. It's fun. A little bonding and the high rocks competition. It started a few years ago over in Europe and it's making its way over to the States. It's getting pretty popular. It's basically what they call a hybrid race. So it's a lot of running and then exercises in between the runs. So you have a kilometer run which is 0 0.60 miles. And then you have a thousand meters on the ski erg. You got to break it up between you two. And then after that, a th another kilometer run and then a sled push, like 300 pounds. And then a kilometer run, sled pull, kilometer run, burpees, kilometer run, rower. So you got to do eight kilometers and you're racing through a course against other people. 
but you have these like intense exercises in between each kilometer. So you got to be going fast, but you're also like spent your legs from. I am physically nauseous after listening to that. Yeah. That is quite literally my worst nightmare. Yeah. Wait. So do you think though, when you're training with Jordan, are you guys, you know, in a team? Yeah. First of all, if I'm paired up with someone, I become like a different athlete. I right. love being with someone else. Same. But do you feel like you guys have the same strengths or are his weaknesses we and strengths balancing out? I think we are like perfect out? for each other on this competition. Well, He's a really good runner. And so I've been like running a ton to try and keep up with him. So he can pace. Like he won't even probably need to look at his watch. He's been running cross country since he's been a little kid. Yeah. Like when we did marathon training together, I ran a 330 marathon. He did a 258. What is a good marathon time? I don't know. Um, so a 330, what I did was about uh, eight minutes oh, per mile. That's nice. So yeah, that was pretty solid. A 258 marathon pace is, let's see here. 258 divided by 26.2. Speed chart. Yeah, I, neither of us here are good at math. <laughs> um, you have a device in your hand. I don't. I think that's around a six. Yeah, it's around a six minute fifty. Seconds Holy shit! For, for twenty six miles. miles. Yeah, twenty six point three. Bruh, we had to run a seven minute mile in yeah. college as our preseason yeah. training, and it was quite literally my downfall every preseason, and yeah. that was one mile. Yeah. So he ran uh, sub seven minute miles for twenty six miles Rah, he is yeah i mean he's always been insane and he's insane. like the longest length yes yeah. like yeah just he his body was made for iron man's oh absolutely yeah so he's a stud athlete and so he's really good at running i'm like this is the pace we got to be at all these guys are running like a six minute mile kilometer pace so I, I have to run like a six minute mile pace for those kilometers so his strength is running and so I'm just going to like try and just hang on. I'm like, I'm just going to hang on, dude. You run and you have to be like right next to each other. So he's oh. going to be able to push me on the runs. And I, I think I'm pretty strong at most of those exercises. And sure. we work on those exercises all the time at the gym. Yeah. Where he doesn't have access to all that equipment Okay. where he's at. So I think it'll be good. And also it's like coming up with um strategy where as soon as we're back from the run, I'm going to go straight into the move. Say it's a sled push. And then he goes, and then I go again, so then I can rest before the next run. Sure. So whether or he's going to kind of just turn around and run, yeah, gazelle run into yes. the next one. Yeah, exactly. Where? Oh, you said Washington D.C. Washington, yeah. So we've got two girls, um, Machine Meg and Allie Summers, who qualified for the World Championship in France this summer. So if you guys we'll... don't know who they are, you should look at their Instagram, and it's scary. yeah, but like in a good way, scary. Yeah, they're badass. So they're going to compete next weekend too. Get a little practice run in. Um, Does yeah. this have anything to do with the one overseas that they qualified for? No, so they're already qualified. It's the same race, so they're just going to go and race again. But they're already qualified, and they're training for France. Can you qualify? At yeah, this me and Jordan can qualify. Do you think you're going to? That's a goal, but also it's like we are. That I mean, not sound very convincing. <laughs> no, yeah, of course, me. I'm a super competitive. I'm, I'm going to be like, yeah, fuck yeah, we're going to qualify. Okay. Um, you know, I'm 37, and. <laughs> We're in the 30s range. I'm at yeah. I'm at the wrong end of 30. So we'll be going up against 30, 31, oh. 32 year olds. You know what I'm saying? Yikes. So, it goes by decade? Yeah, it's a decade. Okay. That feels a <laughs> yeah. little yeah. illegal. That's tough. 21 year old Sammy is not the same as 28 year old who is not the same as 33. And I no. know this bitch will not be the same yeah. as 37. And guys like 30, young 30s is their prime. Prime. Yeah. Except for according to you, because every time I ask you about I'm your not age, in you're my like, prime I'm not yet. even in my prime yet. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, Exactly. One. So yeah, we're going to qualify. That's the goal. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it'll be fun, but we've been doing a ton of training. And so that's maybe a reason for my respiratory elevated heart rate. We say all that to say that's why you're getting <laughs> shitty sleep. Yeah. Yeah. But we were just talking about before the show and the reason why we didn't have a podcast last week, I was yeah. sick as a dog. Yeah. I was like, man, everybody here is coming down with something. Yes. And I have not been that sick in a long time where usually if I'm sick, I can kick it within a few days. This was like, I was like, is there like something really wrong with me right now? Because right. it would not go away. And it was a full seven days. I have heard that that is, everyone that I've talked to that has had whatever this mysterious sickness is, some of them have tested positive for flu. But like you said, you tested negative for it. So maybe it's not that, but it's a full seven days of just being completely wiped out. 
fever, everything, sleep, chills, sweats, the whole nine. Sore throat. Yeah. Yeah. And it was, uh, yeah, it tested negative for flu, negative for strep, negative for COVID. And the doctor was even like, well, a lot of people, you know, sometimes the flu test comes back negative, but it sounds but like really it could be. It. Yeah. But then I took Tamiflu and I was talking to you about yeah, that. Yeah. It didn't do anything. Dude, Tamiflu does save you though if you have the flu. So maybe you didn't yeah. have it. I always thought growing up that the flu was when you're throwing up. I don't know why I always thought that. I couldn't agree with you more. Yeah. I don't know if there was like some 90s Nickelodeon <laughs> yeah. propaganda that we consumed, but that's specifically the stomach flu. But when I think the flu, it's, it's throwing just like, up. yeah. Yeah. But it's, I guess, with our infinite wisdom as we've aged, yeah. we realize that there's more than one type. I mean, I woke up in the middle of the night when the first nights and I was, my bed was drenched. I hate that. And I was like, where's the thermometer? And I had like 102 temperature. I was okay. like, holy crap, I'm dying. This is making me nervous because I'm about to internationally travel. And like, I cannot feel like that and travel internationally. Why are you nervous? You're not going to get sick from me. This was two weeks ago. No, we're still in the same room, breathing the same air. It was no. two weeks ago. But you're not the only one. I guess what I'm saying, like, it's, yeah. I can, everyone I know is just falling like dominoes. And so I'm Everybody. just like really trying to just not. Yeah. And there's only so much you can do. And I'm like, man, I hate working at a gym. I love it, but I'm like, I. So many of you Ugh. guys come in here sick, and I'm here all day, and I see hundreds and, and hundreds of people. You're sweating on everything. Uh, and you're using the same equipment. People are nasty even when they're not sick. I know, and it's like a small space. Oh. <laughs> and it's like so many people have like called in and sent emails like, "Don't okay, oh. give me a late charge. Yeah. I'm sick. I'm sick. I'm sick." And and then tis the season. And then people will come in. They're like, "I'm just. I'm so sick. I'm just trying to sweat it out." I'm like, "No." Get out of here. Yeah, go sweat it out in your own house. Yeah. Or in your backyard. Yeah. Or just like, I don't know, rest. I know. Take care of yourself. I was nervous too that I was going to get lock sick. I was so nervous. I won't even pick him up for a couple of days. Yeah. I was just like, I was like, don't bring him anywhere near me, sleeping in a separate room. Yeah. And he's been knocking wood. Dude's fine. Oh, little Loxy. Yeah. He's growing like a weed though. He's, yeah. He's How do, big. I mean, I know it sounds dumb to say out loud but like I, the fact that children grow so rapidly, so rapidly. never ceases to ma amaze me like every time i see a kid i'm like oh my god yeah i was here two weeks ago yeah how many more inches have you grown and they are the true testament like the time uh what am i saying like the the measurement of how much time it's been you know and i see yeah. my friends like you look the same yeah your kid doesn't and that's yeah. how long it's been since i've seen you type of thing like Especially yeah. my friends in college and high school that don't live here. I know. And I don't really see them. And then all of a sudden I come back and they have like a kindergartner. I'm like, holy shit, has it really been five years? Right. It's crazy. That's how I feel every time I go home. I see my nephew and yeah. my niece. I'm like, Jesus. Yeah. You guys are huge. I know. Maybe don't say that to them. But like, yeah, I understand what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe let's reword that verbiage. Yeah. Um, we don't need to encourage that Uncle Sean. Yeah, we won't. You but look so grown. That's the word. Let's try that one. Yeah, we'll go with that yeah. one. Yeah. Holy shit, you're huge. You're huge. <laughs> yeah. I mean, don't say that to pregnant ladies or children. Well, I mean, my nephew is literally built like me. He's a freaking beanpole. When I like, I was the same way. I was just tall and skinny. Yeah, I can't relate to <laughs> anything you've said in the last thirty seconds. <laughs> I've just have. I came out like this. Yeah. I found a picture. I was like cleaning out stuff in my attic the other day when I was making room, and I found a picture. I probably was like four years old. I had blonde bangs to Jesus, let me tell you. Yeah. Goggles bangs were on big. my head. Are bangs back now? They never came back, really. I mean, I don't know. Like, no. I don't think bangs are... I think it just depends on your style, just like everything else. But I don't know that... Like, bobs were big for a while. Remember when I had a bob? I had really short platinum blonde hair yeah, like two years ago. that's right. But I don't think bangs ever really made the... What comeback. about perms? Those going to come back? Like our moms? Um, I would think no. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, wait, speaking. Okay. So this picture that I found of me when I was a kid, I look yeah. literally the exact same. Like just, I was jacked, but like, yeah. okay. So can't say that anything's changed since yeah. I was a kid. But the other thing in the pictures next to it, you're bringing up perms. My parents had the same hair. <laughs> yeah. They had the same fucking hair. They had curly, like mullet looking hairdos. Yeah. From behind, you probably couldn't tell who was my dad and who was my mom. <laughs> Why was that Okay. <laughs> Why was that okay? And it was like, not just them. There's pictures with their friends. And it's just oh, like, yeah, it's everybody thing. had a permed mullet. It was required at that time. And now our, our kids going to look at us like, what were we doing with 
our hair. I mean, yes, I already think that about myself from like even within the last five to ten years. I know, like it's the, the, that's the weird thing because now I'm getting to that point too where I feel older now. Yeah. Now that I have a kid, I've always felt older recently, but I'm like. Is this an old person thing that locks will think of yes. when he's absolutely and you? But will we drive... think we think we're so cool. <laughs> I know, but so did my parents <laughs> with our their parents matching thought that too. But we would like be like, oh yeah, you guys weren't cool. I don't. I talk about this with the guys in the band that I work for. They have children as well, and yeah. we joke about how like your parents are just your parents, and they do things that you're just like, what are you doing? And he's like, they say. All I want to do is not do that to my kids, but it's inevitable. Yes. You're going to turn around and your kids are going to be like, oh my God, dad. Yeah. That's going to happen. Lox is going to think that. Yeah. He's going to be like, why are you wearing hoochie daddy shorts under more hoochie daddy <laughs> yeah. shorts in public on a global podcast, dad? Legs are out. And you're just going to be like, thighs yeah. out, skies out, baby. That's like, right. let's go. Maybe it'll make a comeback though. Like, cause hoochie daddy shorts were big in the 80s. All the guys were. I'm those. a big fan of hoochie daddy shorts. Remember, I was trying to bring out cutoffs. Okay. But those are back now. What do you mean cutoffs? I mean male crop tops. Okay. <laughs> Remember when I was in the gym yes. saying I wanted to get BC male crop tops? I would like to be very- Me and Vaughn. No, gonna- <laughs> no. I would like to be very, 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 very clear about this. I support Hoochie Daddy shorts. Never will I support male crop tops in a non were, unironic fashion. They were big in the 90s like football male crop tops. It wasn't cute then and I don't think it's cute now. You can do whatever you want. Remember when you also used to wear like one legging yeah, down and you see and crop- every athlete that does that now, every single turn on the TV, every athlete's got one legged legging. John, you are delusional. Yeah. Like every that's athlete. super cute that you think that that's reality. Beyonce has one. You are not Taylor Beyonce. Swift. Oh my God. You are not Beyonce. <laughs> no, that's what I'm saying though. I was wearing that before them. Sean, you, okay. Yep. And now look at Beyonce, country artist. Dude, I know. That song's fire. How do you, yeah, I was going to say, well, how are you feeling about that? I feel great about it. So- I, okay, I don't know why that sounded so creepy, but the, Beyonce is a Sony music artist and Columbia is her imprint. And back in the day, like two years ago, when I worked at Sony, obviously I worked in country music and we worked in national radio promotion. And so it's kind of exciting because now the people that still work there that were my friends, my bosses, my mentors and everything are working that single to country radio. That's wild. So I'm basically related to Beyonce. No, I'm not jealous. I'm pumped for them because I'd much rather just read the benefits from over here and not have to actually do that job literally ever again. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's a great catchy little tune. I also saw a little snippet of Post Malone doing a collab with Luke Combs. Now this it's like the trendy thing is hey, for these cool, crossover baby. come do country. It's a cool thing now. And Lainey Wilson just dropped a single that's country's cool again and I couldn't agree more. People sometimes yeah. get crotchety and they're like this isn't country. We're not going to do that. But country is the only genre of music yeah. that does that. Right. Have you ever heard someone have like a different variation of a pop song and they're like this isn't pop music? Oh, I know. No, yeah. that only exists in yeah. country. There can be different lanes. It doesn't all have to sound exactly the same yeah. to be considered country. Beyonce is from Texas, Yeah, has had extensive roots in country music. Just because she hasn't stayed only in that lane doesn't mean that she can't make country music. No, it just shows how talented she is. Bro, she is so talented. She's talented. Like, you know. She's way more talented than Taylor Swift. I was <laughs> Taylor Swift could never. But yeah. I do feel like that I would never do that because I feel like Taylor Swift is so different than Beyonce. Yeah. I don't, th- I think it's not, you can't, it's not apples to apples. This is like apples to oranges. But I bet you Beyonce stand at home and be like, man, I'm so much better than that girl. I guarantee you she does not think that. Guarantee you she does. Ah! She's married to Jay Z. She has beautiful children. She's a multimillionaire, She's obviously gorgeous. very talented. Insanely yeah. gorgeous, successful businesswoman. Yeah. I don't think she really has time in her day to sit around and think about whether or not she's better than anybody else. She just knows it. Yeah. I don't know. Now we're going to, I'm going to start getting Beyonce stuff on my phone because yeah. we talked about Taylor Swift and it's like all I see is Taylor Swift videos now. I'm hoping that will die down a little bit now that football season's yeah, done. Yeah, let's not but... talk about Taylor Swift anymore. <laughs> okay. That's just good. I, I, I'm so sick of it because I now think, I think that people are going to Taylor Swift to be like, I'm cool. I'm at a Taylor Swift concert. You know, I think it's almost sure. like not as they're enjoying the show, but I feel like it's more theatrical for yeah. people because it's the trendy thing to do sure. right now is to go to her show. And people want to feel like they fit in. And if yeah. you are a Swifty, you fit in. And it's like, and if you go there, you got to be like obnoxiously dancing and screaming sure. and like recording yourself, which is cool. Like people are having fun. But I'm like, are they really having that much fun or are they just doing no. it? 
for it's the same thing as everything that you see on social media. It's a highlight reel. Yeah. It doesn't mean that that's really how they feel. Yeah. Or literally what their real life is like. I feel like out of all this hoopla, I know you're probably going to roll your eyes at me, but like the person I feel the worst for is Taylor herself. People are shitting on her like, oh my God, I can't believe you're on TV at a football game. Blah, 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 blah. She our, loves it. Okay. Whether she loves it or not is irrelevant because it's not her fault that they put her on the TV. She's literally just sitting in a box watching her boyfriend play football. It's no, not I know, her fault but I also feel like she TV. also she obviously knows the cameras on her at all times, so she's like doing things like knowing sure. that she's like sure. being recorded at all times. I think the best thing that came out of this entire situation is the influx of young girls that watched football with their dads, with yeah, their moms, that, with their that, parents. That part is super. I cool. love that. I love that it brought them together, and I think that. Like, that's so pure. You can't yeah. be mad at that. No, not at all. It's and awesome. I saw some girl make a TikTok. She was like ripping into, I guess there were 54 seconds that Taylor Swift's face was on the camera during the Super Bowl. Mm. And some girl with just like a condescending, very snarky video, which I appreciated. Yeah. It was just like, I know a lot of you men think 54 seconds is a very long time. Yeah, that's good. It just started with that whole narrative. Yeah. But I think it's true. Like I said, I mean, sure. Is she dancing around having a good time? Okay. But like, is she supposed to not? Is no. she supposed to just sit there with her hands crossed and not be excited? Yeah, no. It's not her fault that people are, are insane. Exactly. Yeah, people like, are Like, she's insane. just living her life. Let her yeah. live. Why are you guys obsessed? The people are the problem for me is my friends or acquaintances or the people on the internet who are in their 30s and 40s that post every fucking thing she does. I'm like, you guys are the reason she's annoying. Yeah. It's not her. It's you. Mm. Let her live. Like, I pump know. the brakes. That's crazy. I've never, ever even... What is the next thing that we've experienced in our lifetime that's, as that's big been as, this, as obsessive as, as her? Taylor mania? Yeah. As Swifties, not her, but... I don't, I don't know. know. I can't but like think when of it. they show uh, reaction videos of like her announcing she has an album, I'm like, oh, my, I'm like, what am I watching right now? <laughs> Why are you watching it though? I know it's on my feet. It's on my algorithm. Yeah. Speaking. Okay. But I'm like, and I watch it. I'm like, this is crazy. Like these girls are like hysterically crying and screaming because she announced that an That's album's crazy. coming out. There's something going on. There. All right, we we're done talking hear. about Taylor. We're not I doing pitch. it again. We're not doing it again. Okay, sorry. We'll um, retire that. But you brought up something. It's like, oh, it's on my feed. I have a new theory. Yeah. And I would like to test it. So you know how, like, there's been a running joke since, I don't know, social media, YouTube, the whole thing is, would you rather, you know, bite off your leg or have someone view your search history? Yeah. You know, because like in the depths of your archives of your phone, like, what are you searching? <laughs> bite off your leg. But That's you know, pretty, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, yeah. the Jeez, would you what rather. what are you searching? No, 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 no. You know what I'm saying? Like, God. the would you rathers are always very extreme. It's yeah. not like, would you rather yeah. something very little? No. Yeah. I now feel like part of a maybe like friendship filtering, dating filtering or something. I'd be like, let me see your for you page unprompted. Oh, yeah. I want to open your Instagram page and see because that is an algorithm oh, yeah. of things that you see over and over again. I want to that's like dirty details right, right out in front. I'd be yeah, like yeah. really quickly. Hey, give me like, let me see your for you page, Sean. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, it's right here. Let me see. OK, yeah. Dana White, Theo Vaughn. Uh, like a Brittany Mahomes. Mm. Actually, kids, yours is not bad. A lot of kids stuff, fitness stuff. Yeah, I did this with, obviously, I work with all men. So it's I tested this theory. And, and and I don't mean the band. I'm talking about the crew. There's a lot of girls on here, too. Yeah. Um, mine um, is home decor, books, yeah, and like recipes. Gotcha. I'm like, what am I? Sydney Sweeney's everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> She's on my For You page. She's everywhere. <laughs> um, yeah, Sydney Sweeney's great. I actually, speaking of Sydney Sweeney, do you watch Euphoria? No, I don't. Never seen it. It's really dark, but it's really good. And it was supposed to come out this spring. And then I just read something that they pushed it back to next year. I thought you were going to have more of a reaction because you were going to watch it. But like, I'm pretty upset about this. Oh, that's, that's. Are yeah, you looking bummer. at ass and tits right now while I'm trying to talk to you on this podcast? No, I'm just looking at what else is on my for you page. You've never looked at your for you page? No, I, I always look at my for you page. Now you're just seeing what it would be like to look at it through someone else's eyes. There's a eyes. lot of babies now, you know. I would, yeah, so long story short, I would rather have somebody look at my for you page and get my leg eat, bitten off. See, but some people wouldn't. Depends on what you're looking at on the yeah. internet. I just feel like it's a very yeah, I, pure test. Yeah. Like, oh, I'm not going to give you a few seconds to change your algorithm by liking a bunch of videos and then it will repopulate. Yeah. No, 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 honey. Yeah, let me see Put that. Put that on the table. Let me see what's your For You page. Yeah. I, I've always wanted to do like a little segment where you have a guest on and then mm -hmm. you um, 
Ask they, them about their search history. Yeah. I mean, like, <laughs> let me see your Google search. My Google search I, is like- Mine's probably really weird. That's what I'm saying. Mine's embarrassing, but not because it's dirty <laughs> yeah. or just like anything out of pocket like that. It's just like, yeah. what's five plus five? Yeah. Things like that. I'm like, I don't- Like my recent search is Elvis Presley, TCB, because I was at the gym and one of my trainers said she's going to Graceland this weekend. And I was like, oh yeah, you got to check out like the Jets and- I'm like, they're super cool. Everything's got it. it says a uh, TCB logo, which means take care of business. Okay. I was like, I, that was missing. him and his boys, like little slogan gang. Isn't there a song? Memphis that? gang. That's not his. Yeah. Well, I know that's not Elvis. Yeah. Thank you for clarifying. We should just do a whole episode on would you rather. Like, okay. Would you rather, if you can get a million dollars right now. Okay. Like, you get an all, option. That's, that's not how would you rather works. Yes, party. it is. Would you rather take a okay. million dollars right now okay. or take a free throw? And if you make it, you get a hundred million dollars. I would take the million dollars. I can't make a free throw for my life. Damn. I'm not, I mean, I'm like, athletic, million, though? but not athletic. Yeah. I mean, I guess. Sure. Yeah. Take the free throw. What's the difference? Like With the difference is you lose a million dollars if you miss. Yeah. But I don't have a million dollars now and I'm doing just fine. Okay. But if you had. That's a if tough it one. was like a million dollars in cash on the table, million dollars in cash is sitting right there, yeah, or a hundred million is on that table. Yeah, I know, but like, I, if it was a million, so, but you play basketball, like this is not the same. Yeah, I also for you got a I. freaking steel rotted shoulder. Listen, if it was like a million dollars cash, or you have to hold a handstand for thirty seconds for a hundred million, I, I would take be that. Able to do it, but I would. Yeah, that's but what I, I'm saying. I could hold a handstand for thirty seconds before I could shoot a free throw successfully. <laughs> All right, give me it. Would you rather? Oh, God. Um, would you rather... Well, what is, does it have to be athletic? No, whatever you want. Would you rather never be able to see again or never be able to hear again? Oh, uh, uh, hear. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. Easy. That's I don't easy. Know. I don't know. I don't think it's as easy as you think. The more... See, some of these also would you rather... You would you rather walk... It? Let me see you get from this spot to the door right now with your eyes closed. Well, it'd be a learned behavior. I could obviously do that if I just take my time. Okay. I think I think both of them suck. Imagine never being able to experience like the sound of waves or like when the birds chirp, like those peaceful things that I feel like your eyes, like losing any sense would suck. Yeah. I don't want to do that at all. But I yeah. just feel like the more you think about it, maybe it's not as easy of a question as it right. seems like right off the top. Okay. But if you couldn't see anything, imagine then you would – I mean, I'm speaking for myself, but just like the amount of time and struggle you have to make sure that you quote unquote look good. If I can't see it, I can focus on other things. The fuck do I care if, what I look like if I can't see it? You know what I mean? I can't see what you look like. Yeah. Then a lot of pretty people in this town would have a rough time. <laughs> yeah. Because they're actually trash bag human beings. Yeah. But they're hot as fuck. So eh. well, they can't see. But if I can't see you, I don't care. Yeah. You can feel. Hey, nope, not trying to go to jail <laughs> yeah. and be blind. Thank you so much. Would you rather um, forfeit your memory from now and everything you've ever seen in your life Okay. to remember everything in the future or remember everything and not have your memories in the future? Hey, wow. What kind of <laughs> that's, that's... Independence Day? Okay. Um... You remember everything from here? Until you were born. But I don't remember everything from when I well, was I'm born. Well, I'm saying, like, you just, you have your memory. Okay. From this life that you've lived so far. Or you start now with absolutely no memory of anything in your life going forward. Can I, can I ask a <laughs> difficult question? Yeah. Okay, so I don't have any memories of what I've done in the past. Correct. However. But I start today. But do I have, okay, but like your memories and your experiences shape who you are. Today. Yeah, but you don't know. Do I have that knowledge anymore? No, no I'm nothing. just like you don't remember a caveman. Anything. The first thing you remember right now is sitting across the chair from me. What a life to be born into. <laughs> yeah. um, You're welcome. I would probably choose never remembering anything and going forward. Yeah. I probably would because I feel like yeah. my best days are ahead of me. Mm -hmm. And like, yes, I've had a lot of fun and I've met a lot of great people. You're but not going to remember any of them. I would rather. Every person you meet, you're not going to know who they are. I mean, yeah, exactly. So it's clean slate. That'd be cool. Yeah. I mean, it'd be weird. It'd be weird. Like I just people show up at my house because yeah. I invited you don't them know over your mom, for dinner your and dad, I'm like, okay. nothing, nobody. You don't know Kel's dog, nobody. Okay. 
why can't you speak correctly? Every time you say the word Massachusetts, my fucking cholesterol levels <laughs> skyrocket. <laughs> Kel's dog. There's no Z. It's Kel's, Kel's dog. Kel's dog. It's Kel's an dog. X. Massachusetts. Massachusetts. There's no Z's. You don't remember any of that. Well, you just reminded me when I was born into this. Dude, the first yeah. word you're going to say is Kel's dog to me. Yeah. God. You're like, what the hell is that? I'm sweating. It's Massachusetts. Massachusetts. There's no Z's. Massachusetts. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We'll just blame your tooth. Even yeah. though that's not the case. Yeah. I got my tooth. I'm, I'm, I'm in the final stages of this freaking dang... Um, Freaking dang! And what are you a freaking farmer? Freaking dang! <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> freaking dang tooth! Freaking dang tooth! Yeah, now it's I got one of those things where it pops in and out now again. Okay, first of all, the <laughs> amount of saliva that just came out of your mouth. Yeah, you want to hold it for me? No, I don't want to do that. Oh my god! That's the tooth. Look at your face. Yeah, Sean. And you got to pop it back in. <laughs> And now I got to be like this for a few if more months. you took that tooth out and said, freaking dang. Freaking dang. <laughs> you would. Oh, I'm sweating. Yeah. That's kind of alarming. It's, I have to do that every time I eat. And once I get home, it's like my comfortable. I like take my tooth out when I get home. Something tells me you're not going to be making any more loxes anytime soon with that look. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got the same front tooth as him right now. Speaking, he has a front tooth? I don't have a front. Okay, that was oh, a joke. Okay. Yeah, I get it. See what I did there? Yeah. yeah. Sorry, that went way over my head. That yeah. was a pretty good joke. I wasted that. that Sorry was, about that. Yeah. Um, speaking of babies, how was your Valentine's Day? Were you sick or did you do something fun? Um, or are you like, oh, I don't believe in a holiday. It's a homework holiday. No, no, no. I, first of all, I'm not a big Valentine's Day guy. I don't hate it. Why? I don't hate it. I'm just, okay. I'm, it's just like it is what it, Yeah, it is what it is. We were gonna go to uh, dinner, and then we both got really tired. And then we said, "We'll do dinner." I was like, "Let's do dinner on like Saturday night." Is and this then, train gonna come through the studio? What? Yeah, yeah. I wonder if you can hear that. I've never heard that. Nice. We got a train going right now, bro. That was like in the studio anyway sorry so you were gonna go to dinner on saturday yeah and then um we ended up not doing that she went and had, went to my sister's instead they had like a girl's oh a night thing. yeah Valentine's. yeah i don't think it was a galentine's just like oh, get together and then um so oh, no then we're supposed to do it on sunday maybe one of those days yeah so we didn't do much <laughs> actually so we didn't do anything perfect yeah parent life that's what yeah. it is right now yeah it's literally it's like yeah divide nothing. and conquer Divide and conquer. And she's doing a lot more conquering because I'm doing a way more working. You know? Okay. <laughs> like today. Woke up. What time did I wake up? 158? 153. My schedule today, which is crazy, to the gym at 5 o'clock, uh, three classes in the morning, and then went home, actually took a nap with locks. That's cute. And then I taught the noon class, and now I'm here, and then I'm going back to the gym to teach the night classes. All three? Yeah. I'm doing all three at night. Oof. Oof. Yeah. Not That's... me. I'm going to catch up on all my adulting responsibilities. I'd rather coach three classes. Ugh. Yeah. But I also didn't get up at two o'clock in the morning. I think I was going to sleep at that point. So. Yeah. How'd your Valentine's Day go? Um, I did absolutely nothing. Yeah. I kind of forgot it was Valentine's Day. Yeah. Until someone reminded me, if I'm being honest. Yeah. I feel like it's just. Uh... I, listen, I appreciate the gesture of which like Valentine's Day is in general. I think. It irks me when people are like, oh, well, if you love your significant other, every day can be Valentine's Day. I know. And I'm like, okay, however, yeah. I hear you. But like you were just explaining, parents, people with busy schedules, people yeah. who travel for work, people who have it's nice responsibilities. To, it's nice to kind of yeah. almost feel, I don't want to say obligated, but like yeah. a reminder yeah. to take a second, get the flowers, do something yeah. nice. Yeah. And just, yeah, sometimes we need to be held a little accountable. And so yeah. what if it's a quote unquote fake holiday yeah. as opposed to what? The holidays that grow organically in the wild? Isn't every holiday made up if you really Some get down to it? Yeah. So I appreciate maybe, it, but yeah. maybe I don't Christmas know. Christmas is even made up too. Well, you know what I mean? I'm, All I'm the saying. hoopla with it. It's like, okay, yeah, it derived from an idea and then we've made it into what it is now. Right. Yeah, actually, and I was just thinking about it, Dre's mom was in town, so she was at the house for Valentine's Day, mm, so, which was you. nice. She was there like all week, which we're like, man, 
why don't we get some parents to move to Nashville? Because that was nice. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice having a oh, parent yeah. close by. And I understand why now people move closer to yeah. home when they have kids. Because it's just me and Dre and my sister. But yeah. it's not like, you know, she's a busy lady. But grandparents are the best. They freaking love it. She's a busy lady? Is that what you just referred to your sister as? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, she's not going to be able to come over the house all day. Yeah. You know, grandparents will just like spend a whole week there. Oh, and they love it. They love it. They love grandkids. I and they just get to give them back. Do you feel like since you, I don't know if I've asked you this or not, but since you've had a kid, do you feel like you have a different relationship with your dad now? Well, he's actually coming to Nashville tonight. Oh. He was here a couple weeks ago. Big Steve. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it's just a, it's such a cool thing. It's really cool being with Locks and with him in the same room. Yeah. Like, that's special. Like, that's crazy. Has your, perspect- has your perspective of him, your childhood, or anything changed since now you have Locks? Yeah, I'm sure a little bit. I just feel like, I'm like, man, it must be crazy for him right now because his son has a son. Yeah. Like, you know, I'm used to being, I guess, when I'm around him, you immediately go into kid mode, right? Like, you go into your mindset of you're a kid. Yeah. This is your dad. And now I'm with him and I'm a dad. Yeah. With my dad, (laughs) which is wild. And it's super, yeah. So that's cool. Like, that's very special. Like, when he first held locks, and I'm like, this is super cool. Um, It was also cool because I, right now, am the only boy or locks is now carrying on the booth name where we have a ton of girls. So locks is the first oh, boy. Yeah. You know, my, cause true. my sister got married. She's now Apollo. So she doesn't have right. the booth name. And then all my cousins all have girls. Sure. So I got a boy. Isn't in the that kind of weird to think about? Yeah. Yeah. Know, that stresses me. I mean, if I didn't think about it until after and I like, it was probably a week or so after I had locks, like, Oh shit. Yeah. The booth name carries on through him. Hmm. I guess no pressure to my brother, but he's the only one yeah, left because yeah. my dad is the only son. He has four sisters. Right. And then my father had one son, which is my brother. Yeah. So no no pressure there. Yeah. Just no go pressure. ahead. Either carry on the name or <laughs> it dies. Yeah. So. Yeah, exactly. Because I got a cousin who has two little girls and then I got one other boy cousin. So it's three of us guys and a shit ton of girls. I have really never contemplated this until right now. Yeah. Pretty wild, right? That is really strange to think about. I also just don't think about, think about family names very often. Yeah. I do feel now, does like- does it carry on though? And it, it's, I guess this line, but there's a way more boots out there in the world, you know, than Shays. I got a lot. There's a lot of Shays and a, a lot, lot of, of Petrowskis. But I mean, my grandfather was one of 18 children. So if your last name is Petrowski and you live in like Northwest or East something, your Indiana, mom's last name is Shea. My mom's last name, yeah. yeah. Your dad's is yeah. P- P- Katsky. They're that's, that's <laughs> yeah. We'll go with that. My dad's hundred percent Polish. My mom's hundred percent Irish. That's my, very few and far between these. My days. mom is hundred percent Polish, and my dad is fifty percent Irish and Scottish. And how do you get so tan then? Yeah. What the hell? Yeah, I'll get the same shit as you. No, well, apparently you're Scottish. not. Scottish. You know, you're not Scottish. I'm not Scottish. But Scottish, Scottish, Scott. Scots? Scots aren't known for their tans. I'm going to Scotland in two weeks. Yeah. I'll test out that sweet. theory. Have you been? No, but my dad recently went. I, I've been to Ireland. Same. That's got to be pretty damn similar. I'd imagine. The weather's, eh. But yeah, well, it's probably going to be gray the whole time, but yeah. I will 100% be having a drink in an Irish pub. Yeah. Got to get Text all. Mikey. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't think he lives there. He lives in New York, but yeah. Um, he was just there recently. I got to get ready for the next holiday, St. Patty's Day, mm. the holiday of my people. Are you a big St. You're a, yeah, you're obviously a big St. Patty's Day girl. I just love the idea of <laughs> a holiday surrounded by just drinking. Drink. Yeah. For no I used reason. to love St. Patty's Day. It was awesome back in the day. I just think St. Patty's Day also symbolizes, which I think you can empathize with here because you lived in cold states before this as well. Like St. Patty's Day was always the start of the warmer summer. weather. Yeah. Like I, I don't yeah. know what it was, but I went to college it in Michigan, and St. Patty's Day weekend. It's also somehow, March Madness too. Oh yeah, that too. Yeah basketball but i just feel like it, it was always sunny like it was the always. first time you'd seen the sun yeah. and it's like the snow is melting 
what better yeah. occasion to drink 50 beers than the sun being out? Yeah, like I've never, I don't remember any St. Patty's Day being rainy. Right. It's always That's sunny. That's always Memorial Day. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, St. Patty's Day is always huge. And I'm going to Chicago this year, so I'm going to see the Green River. Ooh, nice. My uncle, fun fact, he was born on St. Patrick's Day. His name is Patrick. Are you messing with me? No. My cousin's name is Patrick Finnegan. They didn't have a Shea. name for him, and then he was born on Pat St. Patrick's Day, and my granny said, "I'm gonna name him Patrick." I mean, yeah. What else are you supposed to do? That's like all the signs from the universe. You yeah. can't ignore that. Yeah. Is he even Irish? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Even better. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty wild. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm just, thinking, I'm just picturing your granny like. I guess I'll just name it Patrick. Like, yeah. I just I didn't <laughs> yeah. have anything ready for this yeah. moment, but uh, uh, he looks like a Patrick. We'll her just name go with is, it. Her name is Edith. I have seen and heard a resurgence of quote unquote older old names. names. That's an old name right there. Edith, Bring that one back. I love Edith. Edith, and then my other grandma is Dorothy. Wow, those are two grand you grandma names. Basically, came from the Golden Girls. Yeah, I love that. And then uh, my papa's name was Norman. So Norman and Edith. Norm. Yeah. And then Dorothy and Joseph. Isn't it weird how names just kind of also go through an evolution? I feel like back then they only had like 10 names to pick from. But why do you mean there's only 10 names to pick from? Isn't a name just something you made up anyway? Right. But I like feel how like many they more didn't locks do you think there like are? Zero. Exactly. There's so zero like, locks you can make up in the world. Whatever you want. Yeah. I don't know. I heard some little teenager talking about oh she had like an old lady name like jessica and i was like yeah. oh jesus yeah. And yeah this weekend when i was at work i was like oh yeah. god jessica is an old name now like I know. you yeah. know for me estelle edith gloria yeah. like yeah. those names sound older but then again when did those die off yeah they did when did it transition to point, jennifer jessica uh, rebecca they died off when our parents started having kids i know and then it went to the samantha's the jessica's the do you know a lot Lauren's. of samantha's I don't know a lot of Samantha's. Yeah. Probably because I own a gym. So there's That's millions fair. of girls that That's go fair. through there. That's fair. So. It is weird. I feel like I, if I ever have children, I would love to go back to more classic names. Yeah. I love what the name you... Margo. Margo. Margo Shea. That's a great name. Margo. Margo Shea. That's like a movie actress theater. Margo's cute. Like Margo Robbie. Okay, or that. Yeah. yeah. So I guess that name hasn't really died out, but I feel like it's an older name. No? Yeah. Probably. Okay. Thanks for the encouragement. I appreciate that. Yeah. I'm glad you shit on it real quick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What do you got planned the rest of the week? Oh, I do have to say, um, not to brag, but I get to be home for a full 10 days. Wow. Which is the first time since... August that Ooh. I have been home for 10 days in a row. Ooh. So I have a whole lot of nothing planned and also a whole lot of fun. Yeah. I'm going to be able to go grocery shopping fully. I'm going to get myself some flowers. What's your I'm grocery store? Publix? Trader Joe's. Ah, you're so, you're so just basic. Oh, you mean I just like to save money? How much money are you saving at Trader Joe's? Have you compared the egg prices at Trader Joe's compared to Publix? What are you buying for a dozen? $3.99, $4.99? No, not a Trader Joe's. They're two ninety nine. At Publix, it's like six ninety nine for the same eggs. Yeah, Publix is expensive. Yeah, eggs depends. You got you got thirty different choices though. The ones that I like. How about that? Yeah, eggs and egg. Mm, you gotta get the brown to eggs though. Oh, but I thought an eggs and egg. <laughs> How are you gonna literally contradict yourself one sentence yeah. to another? Yeah. Um, I just love Trader Joe's. I also typically the reason that I love Trader Joe's is because they do a lot of like single serve things. And I don't know if you know this, but I live by myself. So I take care of myself. So yeah. instead of buying something in surplus and having it go to waste, they have a lot of things that are frozen that I can yeah. keep in the freezer and then they last longer. So then when I'm gone for a month at a time, I still have food when I come home. So yeah. shit on Buying for you want. yourself is tough. Yes. You got a roommate though. Do you guys cook dinners together? No, we live two separate thing. lives. Yeah. She travels for work. I travel for work. She yeah. has her own thing. I have my own thing. The only thing we really share is the fact milk. that she lives. I don't drink milk. I don't, <laughs> I don't know why I would share milk with her, but yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I I don't have an repulsion to any grocery store like you just did to Trader Joe's. Yeah. But so when you buy single, when you say they got single servings, like what the box of spaghetti that you'd find at Publix is like half the size. What what type of single servings are we talking about at Trader Joe's? I'm talking about more 
actually like nutrient dense, yeah. good for you food that comes in a smaller serving yeah. and can be prepared quickly and can also be held in a freezer so it lasts longer for me. Gotcha. So if I don't get to it, it will live in the freezer. And then when I fly home next Sunday and I'm starving when I land, and instead of having to go to the grocery store, I just pull something out of my freezer and everybody wins. Because right. a hangry Sammy is not good for anybody. Do you run into a lot of people you know at Trader Joe's? Um, I feel like it's like- uh, No. No, I feel like everybody says they go to Trader Joe's around here. Like, that doesn't mean we go at the same time. And there's also two and I feel of like them. there's also lines out of the ass. I think there. you're just hallucinating. When's the last time you went there? Man, I probably went there once a few years ago. How do you have this much of a repulsion to it if you went there once I don't, a few years I like, ago? I like Publix. It's right down the road from me. It's a nice store. I like the flow of it. <laughs> the food's great. You are an old man. <laughs> yeah. An old yeah. get off my lawn yeah. man right now. I can like, I can, I want to do that show. Remember the grocery store show? Supermarket Shop sweep. Till You Drop? Oh, or yeah, no, a supermarket. supermarket sweep. What was Shop Till You Drop? I don't know. That's something. That I've... was one where you were in the mall. You had the fake mall, oh. right? And you're running around yeah. two floors. Yeah. That was cool. Supermarket sweep. I feel like the spinoff of that currently or like more modern day is all the cooking shows like the British Bake Off and all that stuff. It's yeah. like, yeah, they're not grocery shopping, but they have X amount of ingredients and they have to make something yeah. from it from there. Supermarket sweep. I would be awesome at that. Like if I went to my Publix and I would wear the khakis that they wear with the polo shirts tucked in <laughs> <laughs> with the big name tags, I could get through my grocery store and probably, man, I could probably get to the cash register with my full cart in two minutes and 45 seconds. I like to take my time. I don't want to play this game. I, I, yeah. I, <laughs> Andrews look at me like I'm crazy. I put my headphones in. If I had an in. empty grocery store by myself, two minutes and 45 seconds. If I had the grocery store by myself. What do you think? <laughs> they can't hear him. He doesn't yeah. have a mic. He said that that's the most preposterous thing he's ever heard in his life. <laughs> Two minutes and 45 seconds. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get a full cart. I'm going to get all the shit that I need. Yeah, but what are you going to do with that? Like, yeah, I could fill a cart in two minutes and 45 no, seconds no. too, but, but that doesn't mean that, that I, I have. There's Please. only one way to find out. I, okay. I've, We're going to take this podcast to Publix. Imagine. <laughs> Two minutes and 45 seconds. I can go through that door. But how long will that food last you? Like, is that a week's worth of food? Yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm going straight in and going, yeah, right to the right side where I'm getting my oatmeal right away. And then I'm just flipping that cart around. I'm going around the side there, getting the fruits, vegetables, bananas, some immunity shots. Going down the, like, I'm not going in and out of every lane either. Are you? Yes. Okay. I, were you not listening 30 seconds ago? And I said, I put my headphones in and I take my time. I go with an idea of a list with like a couple recipes that I want to make. Yeah. And then I fill it in from there. Okay. Yeah. Two minutes, 45 seconds. I could do it. Something just tells me that you're also boring though. And you just like come home and eat like bare ass chicken breast and like an Alani drink and some chomps. <laughs> yeah. I and then home like, and I have an energy drink with my chicken. Yeah. Like yeah, that's, you yeah. seem like that type of person. Like, I'm yeah. not sure that you're really like experiencing food the way I'm experiencing food. I definitely eat more for, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Fuel. Yes. Perfect. Yeah. For fuel. Yeah. So like, you've never heard of garlic salt on your chicken. It's probably just plain. As no, well. no, no. That's, that's false. I, I put some nice, uh, Mrs. Dash spices on the chicken. Mm. Are you a good cook? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, at least you're honest about that. No. I'm working on it. I'm not a good cook. And I like, Dre will make fun of me for the way I make my eggs and stuff because I'm just like, dude, eggs are eggs. I'll just throw them on the pan, scramble them up, and then put some toast down, get some peanut butter. Scrambled eggs is by far the least sexy way to eat eggs. What? You Just saying. Trying to be sexy eating your eggs? Yes. What's I romanticize sexy, sunny, everything in my life. Sunny side up? Ooh, yes. Over yeah. medium? Hell yeah. The, girl, give me that sunny side up. Okay. First of all, calm down. <laughs> um, I'm just saying that- it, like, why not romanticize things as simple as breakfast? It makes life a lot more fun. You're romanticizing your everything. Eggs. What else? Yeah. Everything. I like candles. I play music. We got to get you a man's. Why? You're romanticizing your eggs. 
no, I'm romanticizing <laughs> feeding myself in yeah. an experience that instead of blowing through a meal and not really taking it all in, I try and take a deep breath you and absorb down, what's going on. And you like yes. get your silverware. You mean set the table yeah, like an adult? Your, yes, your, I do that. Uh, your bib in. I mean, I don't wear a bib, but yeah. yeah. Put music on, light a fire, have candles. What do you candles. listen to, boys to men? No, I listen to whatever I feel like. Like what? Anything. I have Spotify on my TV. This is 2024. So tonight, what's the go-to? What are you making mm. for dinner? What are you going to listen to? Tonight, I'm making a chicken orzo lemon bake thing that I saw online. That seems pretty simple. Okay. And it's going to be delicious. You're going to drink a glass of wine while you make the food? Probably. Yeah. Yeah. What type of wine? Joshua? Mm, Pinot Noir. Yeah. No, I like red wine only. Okay. And so you have your glass of wine. Mm -hmm. You put on your Spotify. Mm -hmm. What's the playlist? Well. That's actually an impossible question to answer because it depends on the mood of what you're in when you start cooking. Well, say you're I don't in a, that. say you're a little tired. Probably Fleetwood Mac. Yes. Yeah, the, the best of Stevie Nicks. That's the best. That's my favorite. I love Stevie Nicks. I think she's cool as fuck. The and best. I love She's coming to town. I know. I'm not gonna be here. I don't want to talk about it. I already looked it up. Were you even thinking about taking me if you were here? Uh, no, but I mean, I would have if you wanted to come, but no, I, you were Thanks. not on the top of my list. Really? I'm the biggest Stevie Nicks guy there is. I do have to say, you reignited my love for Fleetwood Mac. Thank you, because I've been really playing did. it at the gym since- You played, well, what's that song you Dreams. played? No, I know that. I'm talking about for after warm-up, before you have to get your station, you play the same freaking song yeah. every time. Yeah, B -B. And then every time we cool down, you play Dreams. Dreams. Yeah. And so I feel like you definitely encouraged my- uh, love for Fleetwood Mac to just like be reignited. Yeah. For sure. I kind of, not that I forgot about them, but I feel like I kind of yeah. wasn't really listening to them until you just like shoved it down my throat. Now I'm- I hated that that song went viral on TikTok. I liked it for them, but I didn't like it. I would like you to name three things you don't hate. You hate Trader Joe's. You hate this. You hate that. You hate that it went viral. Like- <laughs> Yeah, I do. Because everybody's like, oh, wow, that's a good song. And then we start playing. I'm like, where have you been? Well, I'm like, that's the greatest- fair, though, I think it's the greatest song ever created. Between the way that it sounds, the story of it, the lyrics, I mean- It's just a feel-good song. It's a feel-good song, but it's also Stevie Nicks is is singing about her ex-man who is on the guitar. And Lindsay so Buckingham. Yeah. And so when she's singing- Have you seen the viral TikTok video of her singing Silver Springs? No, I haven't. I need to. But he's you said like, you were a fan. He's playing it, and it's almost like the guitar is like crying in the background, and they're going back and forth, and she has to play that on stage, and he's like, oh, shit. So you can romanticize a I Fleetwood romanticize, Mac song yeah, and not 100%. other parts of your life? You can't, can't shit on me if you're I doing the say, same thing. I, I didn't say I don't romanticize anything. I'm just saying I don't romanticize my scrambled eggs. I, now you're just changing my words. I said I was like romanticizing an experience, like breakfast. Yeah. No Throwing fun. eggs in a pan and just in the living room's toast. That sounds horrible. A horrible way to start your day. Yeah. All right. So Fleetwood Mac. That's good. Okay. I, I have dreams. The uh, actual song, the lyrics, like in a um, a portrait, the the song sheet. Okay. Yeah. You're going to roll your eyes at me and say I'm basic for going to Trader Joe's and you have Again, lyrics framed? This is, that's, that's basic? This was years ago. Oh, Booth. You're exhausting. Yes, that's basic. I'm not <laughs> hating on it, but it's basic. Yeah. Any sort of live, laugh, love-ish quote. That's not live, laugh, love -ish. Word art is basic. It's not word art. It's note art. Okay. It's notes. It's like it's a music sheet. Notes? It's a music sheet? Music sheet? Okay, that's not what you said. That's way different. It's a music sheet. That's way cooler. It says dreams. Fleetwood Mac. <laughs> God. You can I can tell we haven't seen each other in a while. Yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. Okay. Listen yeah. to it. Next time you listen to that song, listen to the actual lyrics. Read the lyrics. Are you going to go see her at Bridgestone? I feel like I have to. Yeah. I'm going to be so. When is she coming? In May. Ooh. And I'm going to be at the ACMs. Oof. Yeah. How many awards? Oh my gosh. It's right near your to? birthday. That should be your birthday present to yourself. Yeah. Speaking of romanticizing things, buy yourself a gift. I'm actually supposed to. This is hilarious. Hilarious. Um, walking out the. The game ball for the Nashville Soccer Club, the game ball match to the field. They asked me to do that. When? Can May I come? May 18th, my birthday is one of the dates they proposed. So I was like, oh, that'd be cool. Okay, I'm going to come. Yeah. I will call What's-His-Face. Yeah. Walker. Yeah. I invited him to the Old Dominion show, and he was going to come with his wife, Sally, but then they ended up having, like, kid yeah, babysitter kid things. things. So yeah. I, ha I still haven't cashed in my 
tickets that he promised me. There you go. And he hasn't cashed in his that I promised him. So yeah. we're still working on that transition. So what I'm saying is I'm inviting myself to your birthday party. Yeah, Thank you so much. Saturday. That'll be great. I think that's the one I'm going to choose. I think it'd be cool. I wouldn't see why you wouldn't do that. They gave me like that's, four days to choose. And one was May 18th. I'm like, yeah, I'll probably do that one. That's perfect. What else? The are reason you why do? I don't want to do it because there's other dates that are a few months away. And that gives the opportunity for locks to be a little bit bigger. I want to have them with me. Okay. But it's not like he's going to. He's not going to remember it. Yeah. I hate I to break it to you. Yeah. You're going to remember it. So it doesn't really matter like, how maybe big he can is. Maybe push it out to where he walks. That will probably not be this season. Or maybe, I don't know how babies work really, but yeah. here's the thing. He's not going to remember it. This is a moment for you. There's going to be pictures that he's going to find when he's cleaning out his attic, when he's 33 and he's on a podcast. He's going to be like, oh, I found this really funny picture of me and my dad. And he was looking like a jabroni in some (laughs) hoochie daddy shorts. What was up with 2024 and why was he wearing that? Why were my mom and dad wearing the same size shorts? That's going to be him. That's going to be him. (laughs) We'll find out. Until then. Thank you guys for tuning in. What a chaotic mess this was. It's the only way we like it. Yeah. We are back. You are back. She is back. I'd be willing to bet that no other podcast that came out today had someone take their tooth out. So at least we're leading the league in that. (laughs) That, Yeah. Can we get put on the top of the charts for that one? (laughs) Team on three. Team. Team.